Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I have a small beauty haul. I actually attempted to record this on yesterday, had the footage ready, was prepared to upload it, and accidentally deleted it. So um, everything is out of the packaging now, and I'm just gonna go through and share you share with you what I picked up. The first item is a two pack of the Pharmacy Deep Moisture Coconut Gel Mask. Uh, these have Echinacea Green Envy. They are activated by vitamin C rich cucumber extract. And I absolutely love these. I uh, tried one of these back, it's probably been almost a year ago. And it came in like a little Sephora favorites or sampler pack of some kind. And I fell in love with it. And the reason that I like it is because not only of the gel um, mask, because it feels very soothing and very cool to the skin, but also because of the lasting effect that I noticed to my skin afterwards. So I did the mask on either a Saturday or a Sunday and my skin stayed very hydrated, very uh, supple until that Friday night. And usually if I do a sheet mask, you get maybe one or two days, if that, of the effects. So to have almost a week or to have a full week, a full work week out of it, I thought that it was worth the $24 for the three pack. QVC uh, has this. The um, Sephora VIB sale, I thought I was going to pick these up, but they had the other pharmacy mask, but didn't specifically have this one. And this is the one that I wanted, so I paid full price for it. $24, it's a pack of three, so you can see that right there, pack of three, and I picked up two of these. The next is another mask. I promise you this is not a mask haul, um, but I have completely, completely and utterly fallen in love with the Tatcha line and specifically the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. They were available on QVC in a five pack and available on Tatcha.com in a four pack. And of course, QVC had the better pricing and the better offer. So I picked up the five pack in the Luminous Dewy Skin Finish Mask. Let me tell you how I incorporate these into my skincare. So the first thing is to start with clean skin. And in order to get that clean skin, I use either a Philosophy um, or some other brand, uh, usually the, the Target brand, and do a removal of my makeup. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to take the original uh, Tatcha Rice Powder and add a few pumps of the Camellia Cleansing Oil and mix that up so that it, um, it's not really a paste, but so that those two are incorporated. Uh, add just a couple of drops of water to my hand, dampen my face, and then apply as though you were going to use that as a mask. And then lightly buff, Gradually add more water and buff until finally a complete rinse. Then I pat dry, add some uh, a few drops of Tatcha the Essence in my hand, rub those together, and then pat it into my face. Give that an opportunity to absorb because it only takes about seven seconds. And then before any other skincare products, I use the mask and this mask you leave on for 15 minutes and then massage in the residual serum once you're done and then any other moisturizers or serums that you would care to that you normally incorporate into your skin routine and I love it. The, the package, each one of these packets has a 20 
milliliter um, dose of the serum, which is enough for your neck, for your decollete, a little bit extra for your face. And I love them. So I picked up the five pack and I think this is the second, maybe third five pack that I've picked up because that has become my Saturday morning ritual and routine. And I'm extremely pleased with it because um, there has been a diminishing from just visually from the eye from some of the little fine lines that I was starting to see. The next is a Tatcha, another uh, Tatcha product, and I picked this up from QVC. It's a two-piece set of the limited edition Red Camellia Lip Balm and the Kyoto Red Silk Lipstick. So stay tuned for these. I've already got lipstick on, so I will not be trying it today. I was going to try to at least show you but I can't seem to get the box open so that will be in another uh, video so stay tuned but I did pick both of those up uh, the lip balm is inspired by red camellia which is a popular wintertime bloom in Japan this is uh, a limited edition lip balm it's rich in camellia oil for um, soft nourished lips with a cherry red flush and a hint of 24 karat gold. So that's what this one is. And the Kyoto Silk Lipstick um, is a homage to the Geisha's iconic red lipstick. And I love red. I love red bags. I love red lipstick. So this was perfect. Uh, it's recreated here in a modern matte formula that is long wearing, lightweight, and deeply hydrating. Universally flatter flattering the silken powder smooth finish brings out the radiance of any skin tone while keeping lips hydrated and soft so uh, when i watch the demo um they, you can use of course each one of them separately but you can also layer a little bit of the lip balm on top of the lipstick and it adds a bit of uh, dimension and a little bit more hydration to the lips. So I'm excited to try those two. And the last thing that I have, and I don't know where the other one is, so it'll probably appear in another video. I picked up the Gradient Sunlit Bronzer from Becca in the color Sunrise Waves. There is a Sunrise Waves and then there is a Sunset waves and of course the sunset waves is a little bit warmer so here is the packaging so silver uh, top and then kind of a bronze which is typical of Becca in the summertime I can always tell their summer or warmer months collections because this packaging is typically what they will use and here is the collar and you get your a mix of your bronzers, highlights, and lowlights so that it is supposed to be the perfect bronzer. This one says it's inspired by the captivating glow of the sun on a beach horizon. This multi-shade, this multi-shaded illuminating bronzer combines sunlit bronzer with our beloved shimmering skin perfector pressed highlighter for a radiant a naturally radiant sun kiss glow the silky texture seamlessly blend into skin for a fresh from the fresh from the beach bronze swirl glow and go so that's i really like becca's uh, highlighters and i don't think this one from a bronze standpoint will be any different so that is it when I figure out which box package has the sunrise bronzer in it I'll come back and feature that uh, in another video but that's all I have for you right now so thank you so very much for watching if you have not Hit the subscribe button and the little alert bell down below. I kindly ask that you do that before you head out. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, take care.